So recently on stream, I played this Pendulum Dark Magician deck. Oh my god, it was so much fun. Now, right off the bat, it's not um, completed. There's still a couple of cards that I still want to get to improve the list. But I was so keen to try out the concept that I just dived right in. And it was so much fun, as I say, so much fun. So those cards that I still get to acquire include a third circle, which I'm pulling for now. Um, the Ebon Magician, which is a rank 7 uh, Xyz monster. It's very good with the deck. And Vermilion Dragon Mech is the other one. Because we are able to go into level 9 synchros, as you can probably tell with our extra deck. Now, um, some cool things with deck. Obviously, the scales we're using are Dragon Pit and Dragon Pulse Magicians. They are normal spellcasters, so they can be searched off of Blue Dragon Summoner, as well as searching for Dark Magician. So there's a, some cool interactions there. They are a 1 in an 8 scale. If you have a Magician card in your other Pendulum Zone, so if you've set both your scales, you can discard a Pendulum to target a face-up monster on the field, destroy it, and this can target um, Spell and Trap cards um, by doing the same effect. Uh, other than that, they're just normal. They are used with... Well, since they're 1 in 8 scale, getting out Dark Magicians through Pendulum is pretty easy. You can also summon Illusions. You can also um, get these out. The pendulum is a special summon, so this gets its effect if you were to Pendulum it out. Um, ideally, I don't Pendulum Rod because it only gets its effect on normal summon. But that's the kind of Pendulum aspect of the deck. Um, the Dragon Pit and Dragon Pulse Magician. As I say, we're running Blue Dragon Summoner with one to one. Um, thin the deck, draw two cards, get the search off. You can search whatever, say you only have one of your scales in your hand, you live with Dragon Summoner 1-to-1, one one, you search the other scale, then you can get your Pendulum off. Or you search for a Dark Magician if you have Navigation in your hand and you need a Dark Magician to be able to activate that. Um, and we're running two of the Navigation, one of the Rod. Our semi-limits, just one Kite Void. Sometimes maybe you just need a little bit of time. Maybe you want to manip some attacks because we're running Destiny Draw. Um, and obviously Magician of Dark Illusion, super good card. Can summon itself during your opponent's turn if you activate it. This is when it's on the field. During your opponent's turn if you activate a spell or trap effect. Except during the damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand. Um, no, no, that's its in-hand effect. It's on field effect is if you activate a spell or trap card or effect. While this card is faced off in your field, except during the damage step. Tug the Dark Magician in your graveyard to special summon it, so that can work with Circle. Um, a cool play is if you navigate on your opponent's turn, it comes around to your turn, and you have the Illusion and the Dark Magician on the field, you can one to one your Dark Magician, and then the Dark Magician will get sent to the graveyard, and then one to one will activate, draw two cards, and then because the spell card was activated, you can bring the Dark Magician back from your graveyard, and if Circle's on the field, you get a Banish. So that's kind of cool. There's a lot of ways to thin the deck out. Um, the Tuna, as I say, Knights and Sorcerer, sometimes that um, Banish from your opponent's graveyard is valuable, but it's some it's a Dark Spellcaster, so it can be summoned off of Navigation, and it can help us go into some level 9 Synchros, Azure Eyes, obviously mostly seen in Blue Eyes, but you once per turn during your standby phase, you can target a normal monster you gave us for a summon. So very often blue eyes, but these are also normal um, normal monsters. What else have I not covered anything? Obviously, we're just running expanded. Sometimes that's kind of needed to get over some three K beaters. Um, oh, dark cavalry is the other one. So when I get dark cavalry. I'll probably swap out Expanded for Eye of Tamias. Um, because I do think the Dark Cavalry is just objectively better than running just an attack boost. So that'll be a change I'm making when I get that structure deck. Um, which I will eventually be doing. Um, other than that, yeah, I've just got that in there for GP, but we can definitely go into, um, rank 4s with 
Dragon Pulse and Blue Dragon Summoner. We can go into a Big Beta Gigantic Castle with Knight and Sorcerer and any level 7. We can start us charge with a 4 and a level 2 Synchro, same with Archfiend's Call. And yeah, that pretty much covers it. And there's some really fun replays which I'm going to get into right now. So I did manage to just squeak into plat with this deck. Um, I think it, at, at this rank, it does hold its own. If you're trying to push for King of Games, I don't think it's a King of Games deck. But it got me to plat. And I have been winning in plat a little bit as well. So that's kind of where I'm at there. Let's go to favorite replays. Let's start at the bottom. I have five. Five replays. This first one, I believe, was against Magician Girls. If memory serves, let's have a look. Yeah, yeah it's Taya. So this was Magician Girls. Coin flip. We're going second. I think ideally we want to go first, just because being able to pop off without having to play through interruption is preferred. We open not fantastic, but we do have Knight's End 1-1 one to, one to try and get things going. Maybe get a Dark Magician ahead for navigation. They open Chocolate Magician Girl, so it's a decent start for them. Well, let's see. Yeah, let's speed it up. Discards Mahad, sets a card. We do go for that play. We do have Dark Magician, so we know we're going to have a play guaranteed. We draw into circle, so we have a live navigation and circle at the ready. Now, we don't want a quick replay. So this, uh, once per turn of his card, targeted for an attack. So we're going to be able to get the banish off and play around the Chocolate Magician's um, protection. We go Magician and Illusion. Draw into one to one this is where we get to do that play. We won the wand, Magician's Illusion's Effect activates, brings it back, vanishes again, summon Dragon Pulse, swing, get drowned, negate, see you later. So that was, uh, that was some fun. I think there's another Magician Girl um, replay. I know I versed one more, but I don't know if I saved that replay. We shall see. Anyway, next duel. Yeah, we didn't get to see any Pendulum. That was just standard Dark Magician with Circle Navigation and what have you. The only cool play there was the one to one being able to draw two, summon it back, get another Banish. Um, something we won't really need to do when we get Ebon Magician, because that'll do it for us, but... Yeah. Oh, we're missing DDD. Okay. So we actually have our Scales. If we manage to get Blue Dragon Summoner, this will be kind of lit. I don't know how this shakes out though. We pass. Because I want to save my scales. I was fully expecting to lose, because DDD can definitely pop off. Um, and OTK you in one turn. I could summon this, but then I would sort of lose my scales and my only ability to really make a play. Gus King Alexander. So really, and I think it gives me the D-Draw, which really helps me out here. I think I'm going to search for Rod or Blue Dragon Summoner. I'm, I forget which one I choose. D-Draw for Blue Dragon Summoner, yeah, because I'm guaranteed going to be able to search for Dark Magician, going to be... Guarantee going to be able to search for something that I can summon. So I draw two. If I draw circle, we're in good shape. Yep. Good stuff. I can play the circle. I might be able to get a um, another Dark Magician and go for game here. One thing you want to make sure of is with your Pendulum Monsters, and this is a mistake I made a couple of times. Um, once when I didn't know, and another time when I should have known, 
is you need to play your pendulum monsters in the left right in the leftmost and rightmost zones. So if you play circle and then have another set card here and like maybe your circle gets popped and this set card is stuck on the field you can't pendulum because you can't have these two right next to each other there does need to be a gap in between so that's just another thing to consider when you're playing your spells and traps unfortunately we don't get another one but we can set dragon pit as well for a little bit of protection In hindsight, I probably should have kept the Dragon Pit in hand, because it's discard fodder. I think we both kind of bricked. Um, yeah, that wasn't a fantastic duel, but it, I just wanted to show off the sort of pendulum um, popping off a little bit there. Well, was that versus... Oh, I can't even check. Um, I'm not sure if that was the second one, or if this was the one we just watched. Let's just make sure. No, okay, we're moving on to Cyber Dragons. I had a couple of sweaty duels versus Cyber Dragons, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I think this was one of them. It's time to duel. By combining my duel. Fuel my victory. Okay, we have the scales, we have Kiteroid, which is pretty good in the matchup. And we are going second, which is a little bit unfortunate. But if we get Blue Dragon Summoner, if we get Magician Squad, we probably could be in good shape. I'm anticipating Overflow immediately. This is a Cyber Dragon in the Grave, so we just have two pops. I'm able to search. So I have two sets of scales. I'm going to set one set. And I think this baits out the Overflow. It doesn't. So what I opt to do here is um, set up a field. I play both my pendulums, and right now I'm thinking if that's overflow, okay, you can either pop my monsters, but it wouldn't make sense to do so, because I'm just going to get them back, or you have to pop my scales, and I'm still going to have some kind of defense against your offense, and you will have to use your Nova effect to get over 2700. So that's where my thinking was at on that turn. But he doesn't activate Overflow, which I find a little bit strange. He does it now. I guess he wanted to see if he drew anything else. Takes out the scales, activates Core, Cyber Emergency. Cyber Dragon. And he has to end his turn, so he didn't draw that well other than the overflow. I drew Dark Magician, but no way to summon it as of yet. I'd rather keep this 2700 in defense. So he's able to summon another Cyber Dragon. Swing over that. Draw another Dragon Pit. I have two Dragon Pulse over here, so I only have one more in the deck, I think. Yeah. So only one other way to sort of get my Pension Sales set. Summons. He's able to go into Nova. He's able to activate Nova Effect. And he will be able to swing over this. But we will be able to stall out with the Kite Void. And that's one material used. I managed to rip into navigation. I can choose to use it or not. Um, but I think I th using Kaiwood's point better. He's going to activate the effect again. Summon. Fusion. He's going to force out the navigation by threatening to pop it. Dark Magician from the hand. I put it in face up because I'm trying to trigger the D-Draw. 42 and 25 is 17 over, which would put us in D-Draw range. 
That's why I went attack there. So that's exactly triggering our day draw. I did do the math there, I remember thinking that. D draws for Magician's Rod. Summon the Rod. Did I do the math again? I'm wondering why I summoned that in attack. I guess I needed the search. At the very worst, I could crash. Let me think. 42... Minus is 32, is 20. I guess I've got expanded. I'm not too sure. I guess I just really wanted to search. Managed to summon out another Dark Magician. Get the Banish. I remember ending turn because I was really close to time. Like, I was running out of time in the duel. Like, I only had like a few seconds left, so I just ended. Rather than trying to battle. Um, take the damage over that. I go straight to battle phase, because again, I'm low on time. I do have navigation in the grave to negate that back row. He searches for power bond off of Pharos. Sets another card. I'm pretty sure that's a bluff, so I'm, I should be okay with the one negate. Do the one to one trick. Actually, it didn't work that time. I wonder why. Book of Moon. I let that go. Karma Cut. I negate that. And he's all out of resources. And I've expanded. So, yeah, pretty sweaty duel. Went really close to time. Um, but we managed to get there. If you know why sometimes the, um, the Wonder Wonder then summon it back works, and sometimes it doesn't. Like, I've shown you a replay where I was able to do that and get the Banish. But in that, right at the end, it didn't work out, and I'm wondering why that is. It's kind of weird. Broken Arrow. Let's check this one out. Dual we play number four. Yami Yugi versus Yami Yugi. If you are true to it, it's time to Is this the mirror? It's my turn. From my hand. Hmm. So not a fantastic opener. If we draw navigation, we're in good shape. We do manage to see it in the three. So, Navigation Circle is an okay 10-1. It's actually pretty good. Oh, BLS. Yeah, I know. I remember this still. <laughs> so, I know that he has effects that he can activate immediately. Because of his um, material that he used to Ritual Summon. So, as soon as it hits the field, I navigate. To stop him from activating any of its effects. Oh, the lag. Oh, the lag. Okay. Set, set. Banish. If he has no back row, he needs two set cards to be able to protect him. Okay. If I draw Dragon Pulse. <laughs> which we do get. Dragon Pulse. Dragon Pit. Pendulum summon the Dark Magician in our hand. Get the Banish from Circle. That was fun one. We get to show off the Dark Magician normal things like with the Circle Navigation, but also Pendulum. Pendulum and Circle. And the final replay for this deck which did get us to plat. I don't think it'll get it again. I don't think it could get us all the way to legend, but it did get us all the way through gold into platinum. This is how I duel. The next deck you'll see will probably the, be the one that got me all the way through plat to legend. Because I might switch up decks now. Um, so we have Blue Dragon Summoner 1 to 1, we can search our other scale. 
So we will guarantee to have Dragon Pulse, Dragon Pit Magician. We have Kiteroid again, it's good in the matchup. He searches for Overflow, we know we're gonna have to play through an Overflow. He opens Core and Nashta. I have Night Send. We draw two Dark Magicians. Which we can summon out. That's when he decides to overflow, hit the scales. And that's fine. We get to sit on our kite void. He goes for diffusion. So he opens core and fusion, by the way. He did search for the core, but he ripped the fusion. I take the first, I kite void the next two attacks. So we have D-Draw active. Destiny draw. Go for navigation. Guaranteed that we're going to have something on the field to be able to um, put up a defense. Goes for overload fusion. Summons another rampage. Got to chain the navigation. Dark Magician hit the field. I'm thinking, bam, he can go straight into Nova off of these two. Unless that restricts him. Oh, you have to go for an attack. Again, it's 1700 over. Um, the Nova 4200 is 1700 over 25. So as long as you have at least that, you'll be fine. Now, because he's banished all of his material, this is the situation we got in. Because the fusion sent the material banished back, and then he banished with overload fusion. So he's not actually able to activate the Nova effect. I get my Dark Magician back, thanks to the Illusion effect. We have a live navigation in the grave, so that back row can get negated. Banish those two. Go into Azurize. Now he has some graveyard material to work with. Get a Magician back with Azure Eyes. I think this is one of the few duels where I did actually use Azure Eyes. I didn't do it with Circle, which would have been like best case scenario, but... The back row won't matter, we can negate it. GG. Yeah. Duels vs Cyber Dragons are often close, but we do manage to edge them out. Just because we do have a little bit of resilience. Um, and once they've sort of done their big combo at the start, the longer the duel goes on, you kind of can edge them out a little bit. That's, that's just what I think anyway. But those are my five replays. That's my list. I'm going to end this video by thanking you for watching. And I'm going to open one pack. And because YouTuber luck exists, I'm pretty sure I'm going to scoop up my third circle. How does that sound? A little bit of the way through. Pack 141. We have some sparkles. We have a Karibo. But that's quite often a bait. That's quite often a bait. The Karibo is quite often a bait, but I don't think this is a bait. Can it be a spell? No, it's a monster. Okay. What do we reckon? Is it a wagon? Is it Lancia? Is it Diddy Warrior Lady? It's Trigodia. Ooh. Did not even anticipate that I was going to get any kind of ultra rare. Uh, you were close. You were you were close. Anyway, anyway. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video with what will likely be um, the deck that gets me from plat to legend.
Thank you. See you later.